today we're going to go over creating and maintaining local document libraries for your community website. Once you've logged in, you'll see the internal homepage for your community website. To get to the document management portion of your website, go to the Welcome drop down menu and select Document Admin. You'll notice that there are several different categories for documents for your website. To add a document library to your website, click on Add New Library. You will then be prompted to give the library a name and then description. You'll then be asked to choose a category. For this, we're going to choose general content. Then you're given the choice of who will be able to view this document library. For this example, we're going to choose registered users. We'll now save the library and then we're going to add some local documents to this library. To do that, click Add View Documents. As you can see, there are no documents per currently in this library. Now if you want to give separate folders for specific pieces of this library, you could do so by clicking on Add New Section and you'll see that there's a new folder one. If you right click on the folder, you'll be given the ability to rename the folder to whatever you would like it to be called. Now that we have manuals selected, we're gonna add several manuals at one time. To do this, we're gonna click on the Add Multiple Documents button. In order to select the documents that you wanna use, click on the Select button. It will then drop you into your Documents folder. Click on the first document and then hold down the Control key so that you can click Additional Documents. Once you have all the documents that you wish to put on the website, click on Open. You'll notice that the website is already uploading all the documents, but as you can see, they have not been added to your library. In order to save them to your library, you must click Save Files to Library you'll now see that the manuals folder that you created contains five documents. If you wish to add new sections, once again you'll click on the Add New Section, and if you decide that you want to add more documents, you can cl click on Add Single Document or Add Multiple Documents. At any point, if there is a document contained inside a library that you no longer want or accidentally uploaded, all you have to do is navigate to the document and then click the trash can button and this will delete that document. Once you are done with the screen click on return and then cancel. Now if we navigate to the general content document library we'll see that test library with four files is now available. Now to see it from a user's perspective we will go to the drop down welcome menu and click my resident area then documents you'll see that all the documents that are viewable for the user are now being displayed as you can see we have a test library the library we just created and a folder called manuals if i click on that you'll now see the files that we uploaded. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit our support site at support.comwebinc.net.